Oh, Mercedes M112V6. Uh, this is an ML163 or an ML320, sorry, W163 chassis. Um, applies to all the, uh, I'm pretty sure it applies to the V8s as well, but I'm not going to say the M113. I'm going to say it does. Um, with electronic throttle, I, you don't have to do any of this. I've got my uh, engine cover off. I'm just cleaning some stuff, getting ready for winter. It's only 5 o'clock at night, but it's pitch black out. Lovely daylight saving time. Anyway, uh, this is the electronic throttle actuator. This is the cable that goes to your, your pedal. There should be a little slack in that. It should not be tight. Make sure, and there's an adjuster right here. A screw nut to, uh, to loosen it. You screw this way. To tighten it, you screw that way. So, show you real quick. Anyway, there should be a little bit of slack in there. You don't want that tight, tight, tight. So to loosen it, you would screw toward the windshield like that, and to tighten it, you'd screw this way. Just like tightening a bicycle or motorcycle cable. If you want it just a little bit of slack, you should be able to push it a couple millimeters in each direction. Not a ton, but just so it's not, you don't want it to be pulling on the actuator. You don't want to be pulling, ugh, get my hand out of the way. You don't want to be constantly putting pressure on it. So anyway, what I'm gonna do right now is reset uh, the idle, the throttle body, just re so it relearns where idle is, basically. Um, and the procedure for that is very simple. It takes about two or three minutes. Again, you don't have to take the engine cover off. Go in your car, take your key, key in the ignition, turn it to the point where all the lights come on but don't start your car. Leave it that way. And we're coming here, we're going to listen for the throttle body to move. It's probably not going to make any sound. It's straight straight there. That's where the throttle body is. It's electronic. This is the cable that pulls on. I'll, I'll actuate it for you to, uh, so you can hear it. Oh, I'm not touching it. Here. You hear that clicking? That's basically the throttle relearning idle. That's relearning where the closed position is. And it takes about two minutes. Just leave it for, okay, leave it for three. So leave the key on, ignition on. Don't touch anything, don't do anything else. I'm gonna do this just so you can hear it. So if I push on this, you hear the, you hear the slight whining, which will go away. Don't do this while you're doing yours. <laughs> resetting it. It's not going to hurt anything, but I'm going to have to start over again because I'm doing this. But I'm just doing that so you can hear what it sounds like. So anyway, let's go start that again. I'm going to turn it off and on again. Off, key out, turn it on. Again, all lights on the dashboard come on. It's the last position before you turn to start and I'm gonna leave it for three minutes. That's all you have to do. Just leave it for three minutes, turn it off, take your key out, put the key back in, start and go. It's uh, three minutes, don't have to get under your, don't even have to get under your hood. You don't have to lift the hood, you don't have to do any of that. Um, I'm just showing you where the, the throttle actuator is and the only thing you might wanna check is that this nut here, the adjuster nut, you hear it relearning, it's adapting. Hear the clicking? It'll do that a couple of times on its own. So like I said, just make sure this doesn't, uh, make sure this isn't too tight. Make sure it's not too loose. It shouldn't be sloppy. If it's sloppy, just screw this that way. Turn it toward um, uh, the front of the car and it'll tighten up the cable. So I'm just, again, I'm gonna leave that for three minutes and done. Um, don't have to get under the car, don't have to get under the hood, don't have to open the hood. Um, yeah, do it once a year, once or twice a year, what the hell. Again, go in the car, put the key in, turn the ignition to the second click, the last one when all the lights come on before it starts. Leave the key that way for three minutes, turn it off, pull the key out, put the key in, start and go. That's it, that's all you have to do. None of this stuff under the hood, I'm just showing you a couple of things under the hood. You don't have to do anything, any of this to reset the idle. Um, anyone who has been watching regarding the power mirrors, um, still good. 
still working properly still have that one little um, screw up where they will not retract on their own won't, won't power automatically retract one bush push retract um, when the car is when the lights are on or the car is driving they won't one push retract don't know why they will retract with the button they can hold the button and they'll go all the way in but uh, one touch they will not do I'm assuming it's a CAN bus thing everything else is fine I'm going to test it for one more week to make sure it's fine, and then I'll put the wiring diagram up there if anybody wants it. But uh, anyway, that's uh, re reteaching your throttle where idle is. Nice and simple. Thanks for watching.